Welcome to our channel, Granny AI. This whole blog was inspired by my purchase of this corduroy skirt from M and S as model the bob. It is solely responsible for my renewed love of a mini skirt. I must try not to rush out and buy for more that are similar but different, and just stick to wearing the one I have. In fact, I actually have to. I have a black one from Hush as well, so I definitely don't need any more. I am a bit annoyed that I sold all my leather skirts a while back, but I'll get over it. I think the trick to a short skirt is in the footwear and the outerwear. A flat shoe, or at least one with a low block heel, works best for me, or some boots. I don't really go a bundle on tall boots, but they would also work if you favor them. Also, a longer coat will make you feel more confident. There's no fear of flashing your gusset when you have a longer coat on the go. Who didn't love a denim skirt in the 90s? I spent hours in picking my old jeans and sewing them together to make into skirts. Even adding patches and trims. Can't pretend that the bedazzler didn't feature either. I was. A hood with the blue gun and the diamante. These days, thankfully, less is more when it comes to embellishment. The simpler the denim skirt, the better. This one from APC is all class. I'd wear it with an oversized roll neck and a pair of Chelsea boots. So, you've got to think less Liz McDonald and more Kate Moss when it comes to the leather mini. A loafer or a pair of ballet flats rather than a thigh boot or a stiletto, a high neck, rather than boots on a platter. That old adage of legs or tips does still ring true. I've never been blessed with boobs that could even make cleavage. Thinking about it, maybe that's why I always went with the legs. I've mentioned tights before. They are important. I like a good 80 to 100 denier. My favorites are these by Falk. Not cheap but last for years rather than weeks. Thank you watching video. Don't forget to comment the video and subscribe our channel.